Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go through the process of creating MDM policy in Intune. So I'm in the Microsoft admin portal here. I need to go to Intune. Under Intune, I would click on Device Compliant. And under Device Compliant, there's a policy. You can click on Create Policy. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this YouTube Demo. iOS policy. The f so I call this an iOS policy. So the platform I need to choose iOS. You see, as you can see, there's a Android, Android Enterprise, iOS, Mac iOS. I have to create. Um, each policy for each of these platform. So for right now, I'm just going to go with iOS. And then under configuration settings, there's email settings available. Require mobile devices to have managed email profiles. I'm not doing any email profiles, so I'm not going to enable this. Let's go to device health check. For any jailbroken device, I'm going to block it. Require the device to be under device threat levels. This one, you can not enable it to secure low, medium, or high. You probably can do low. Um, what it is, is just select minimum device allow you to evaluate by your connection. You're gonna threat device service. So I'm not gonna, conf well, I can configure it as low for now. And click OK. And then go to device properties two settings available. I can do the minimum versions of iOS or I can do the also I can configure the maximum version maximum iOS version. Security system security settings. Does it require a password to unlock the device? I'm gonna say required. You want a symbol password? I'm going to say, let's see here. Uh, for now, just for testing, I'm not going to configure simple. I'm not going to enable this. I'm just going to not configure it. Minimum password length, I can set it to whatever the minimum requirement is. I depend on your desire. You can have up to four, um, four to fourteen um, length in length. So in this case, I'm just going to put four. Require password type. Is it all numeric or alpha numerics? You can do both. I'm just going to choose numeric. Number of non alphanumeric character and password. You can set this as well. I'm not gonna mess with it, so I'm not gonna gonna put not configured and maximum minute after screen lock before password is required. So that I mean, if it's screen lock, um, 
you can set the minimum uh, number of minutes here so you want to lock after 15 minutes you can choose that 15 15 minutes is um, kind of too long I'll probably do five minutes password expiration date you can set the password expiration date So you can change, you can set it from, from 1 to 65,535 days. I'm not going to configure that. Number of previous password prevent reuse. You can add whatever you want, 5, 2, 3. I'm not going to configure that. Device security, restrict apps. You want to restrict any app from uh, this device, like Facebook app or Twitter apps. You can do that here. So I'm going to click OK. Click OK again. So that's setting configured. Now let's do action for non-compliant device. So bulk device is non-compliant immediately, or you can click on add. You can send email to users that their device is not compliant. Additional recipient via email, you can add uh, the administrator to copy in it in the email. Then you can set their schedule days after non-compliance you can select the groups it's an Azure AD group so you can select any of these group here so in this case I'm not gonna select that I'm not gonna configure that I can use the message template here So you can create the message um, from the notification manage selects set device compliant workload. I'm gonna close this out. Scope selected. You can add tags, so I'll use this tag here. Let's do add tags. This is pretty new to um, Intune. I haven't seen this before. So I'm not going to make any tags for now. So basically, that's um, the process of creating um, MDM policy for iOS devices. Look like I have to add a tag. I don't think so. You shouldn't have to do that. There you go. Click OK. And click on Create. So there's, the tag is not required. Click on Create. Once you created the, um, the policy, you have to deploy it. As you can see, the assign is not being deployed. 
So to deploy, you, all you have to do is just click on the assignments and select the users, select the group, all users. You see um, Intune, should be an Intune test group. There you go. Select, save. X. So that's the process. We can create a new another one for Android. It's pretty similar process. All you have to do is just create, click on create policy. Um, let's call it YouTube demo 1.0. Um, uh, just Android. platform you want to choose Android device health you can block root the device Google Play protect you can configure this or Google Play service is required um, if you put in required up-to-date and secure provider required Threat scan apps, you can require safe net detect attention. I'm just going to put not configured for this one. Configured. Location, you can select the locations. Currently, I don't have location created in my Azure, in my um, Active Directory Premium. So I don't see any location. The location is where the, um, to say if you want to create location for Los Angeles, you would enter all the subnets for Los Angeles locations. So that's how the location works. In this case, I don't have location created. Actions for non-compliant very similar to um, iOS scope is not configured you don't need to do that Let's see here um so I forgot to configure the device properties. I think I did that. No, I don't need to do that. System requirement, uh, system security. Does it require a password? Do you want it to require a password? Yes. Minimum password length four. Require password type. I'm just gonna put numeric. Actually, I'm just going to put default. I'm not going to configure that. But just to show you the idea of um, how to create it. Minimum password, inactive password, required for minutes, five minutes, similar to um, iOS. Encrypt for data storage, I'm not going to configure that one. Block apps from unknown source. You can block or not configure it. Company portal, app runtime integrity. You can require or not configure it. Block USB debug on device. You can block or not configure it. Then click OK. Click OK. Click on create. Same thing. You need to deploy after you create. Select the group, click on the find a group test group, click on select, click on save. I like to close it out. So that's the process for creating um, 
MDM policy for iOS and Android. So there's a lot of um, a lot of ways, a lot of policy that you can create here uh, for a different platform. That's Android Enterprise, Mac OS, Windows 8.1, 8.1 or later. So this one, Windows Phone, and this is Windows Operating System uh, desktop and laptops, and Windows 10 and later. So that's it. That's how you create policy. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.